spectacular Spain and Portugal 2020 we're coming. I just wanted to jump on quickly to tell you about this new tour we've got. I've been planning it, I've been wanting to run it for four years so I'm pretty excited. Uh, we've managed to squeeze two countries into 10 days and when you're traveling a distance for a holiday you really want to make the most of it. We've got all of the highlights and no time wasted but having said that it's also we want to have a kind of relaxed um, feel to our holiday as well. So the best of both worlds, fully escorted, nothing you have to worry about, all your transport taken care of internally. It's really smooth. We're going to start in Madrid. Oh, that gothic architecture, it's so stunning. The churches, the museums, the galleries, the cafes, the shopping, the gardens. It's a really vibrant town where you can actually spend a week. We're going to do a tapas tour cruising around the bars uh, on the first night of our tour uh, to really get us in the mood, in that Spanish flavour. And then we're going to head to Toledo, which is a beautiful hilltop town. More food. We've got a wine tasting set up there. Wine, cheese and ham, you know, they're big on ham. Um, not so much good for the vegetarians. <laughs> but um, we're going to do that before we head to Granada, which is my favourite place in Spain. That Alhambra on the hill, that giant castle. I could spend two days there just wandering. It's very spectacular, that Moorish architecture. Another thing I really love about Granada is they've got a really funky kind of Moroccan market there and the cobblestone streets and, you know, kids riding horses bareback through the streets. Granada has a real gypsy soul to it and I just find it a very beautiful place. After Granada, we're going to Ronda, the whitewashed town of Ronda. Um, it's set on a hill, it's spectacular, great for photo opportunities. And then to Sevilla. Wow, Sevilla, so much to see, so much to taste. Of course, oranges, beautiful orange juice. Uh, Spain is known for that, Valencia and Seville. We're going to check out the gorgeous church and climb up its uh, tower to have a look out over the city. Again, Seville is a really modern, uh, that mixture of modern and old horse and carriages are going by on, on um, Cobblestone Pass and then you've got really modernist designed architectural buildings alongside that. We're going to head to the local market, the food market and um, do a payer class. So, you know, that's fun, that's a fun thing to do. And then we'll also uh, attend a flamenco evening. Get the tissues ready. I don't know why, that dance just makes me cry. You know, she's so passionate. Oh, it's heartbreaking. I don't know what's happened to her, but it's heartbreaking. So we really want to immerse ourselves in the whole Spanish culture. After that though, we're gonna to head to Portugal. Stop at a little town called Avora on the way, you can check it out. It's so pretty. And then Lisbon. It's a cosmopolitan city. So we're going to have a few nights there. We'll also engage with the music and the culture of Portugal through Fado. We've got an evening of, of that beautiful guitar singing. A, another soulful folk style of music. So really lovely. And um, we're also going to do a cooking class with my favourite dessert, Portuguese tarts. Yum. It could be dangerous. Not a weight loss tour. <laughs> so it's lots of food, lots of culture. And while we're in uh, Portugal, we'll also head down to some, they've got some beautiful little beaches there. Maybe we can get some fish and chips, hang on the beach, have a swim in that turquoise water, and also visit Sintra, which is the most visited place in Portugal for its heritage and UNESCO sites. Just stunning. We've tried to create a beautiful package for you. So pop on over to the website, have a look, 
There's also the option for you to add Barcelona. I know people are interested in the Gaudi um, architecture, so you can add those two days at the end if you like. And some people are also joining us in Greece for our gorgeous Greece Mamma Mia tour, which is happening just before this tour. So you can also follow the links to that. If you've got any questions, just flick me an email, give me a call. I'm always happy to help. And I look forward to seeing you in Spain with a glass of sangria in my hand.